I am Orm. What's up guys? Now I'm super excited because I finally got my first Aquaman movie toy and it's a DC Multiverse Orm from Mattel. Now even though the DC movies haven't fared quite so well in the past, the Aquaman movie toys just look really good and hopefully the movie's as cool as the toys are. Alright, enough talk. Let's unbox this guy. Starting with the front, we get an awesome open window as well as a new DC Multiverse packaging. Here's one side with a cool Orm pick and the other side with the same pick and a little partial window. Here's the top and here's the back with some words if you want to read that as well as the other figures and the build a figure that I'm oh, my bad collect and connect figure of the trench warrior and man he's ugly as fudge I don't I don't really know if I want to build him Ew. and here's the bottom with a UPC and there he is guys Aquaman's bad guy brother Orm Starting with the head, we get his cool fishy helmet. Now his mask here is molded in silver and his fins are nice and rounded and also bendy as well. I like the red color in his eyes as well as the anger wrinkles on his brows there. And his mouth is pretty well molded as well and the skin tone actually matches his neck. And his helmet here is molded in a slightly darker silver but still nice and shiny. And his fins here are also soft as well and rounded. And he's got a little bit of marbling as you can see on his helmet but honestly I think it actually works for the figure. It looks really cool. I like the helmet and face and ears <laughs> they actually painted in his ears that's cool and moving into the body we actually get a really detailed and impressive sculpt we get a combination of the traditional Aquaman scale armor as well as some hatching right there and a little honeycomb pattern right there and the abs which they they really look out of place I don't I don't get the abs or these straight dots here like right there I, I don't I don't really get that but I'm really digging the purple they use it's just so rich and vibrant I love it and the belt looks pretty sweet too and that honeycomb sculpting goes all the way in which is great as well as the back so you always see it when you pose him and the back seems to be just mainly honeycomb pattering and he's got a little silver booty plate there and the Lego Mumbo Jumbo. And his cape is just wicked sweet. Just check that out. It's got all this cool like texturing, pattering there. And it's got a real flow to it. It's just like it's really in your face. And it looks like it has some weight to it. And it actually kind of does. It's actually surprisingly thick. I mean, just look at how much rubber or whatever material they used in it. It's actually got some, you know, stiffness to it. It's still bendy, but man, it's just, it's a hefty cape. But it's permanently attached and won't come off. Un unless you break it, but... Who wants to do that? And moving into the arm here, he's got some cool silver scaling as well as more of that purple honeycomb pattern there, which I like. And his forearm armor here is actually really cool looking. I like the silver that it's molded in and it just, look at it, it has that kind of organic round look to it and the little cutouts here are non-symmetrical and you can see the purple honeycomb pattern underneath which is radical. I'm learning new words. And I actually really like the hands. They're like kind of translucent silver and it's pretty soft too but it's got this like as you can see that kind of you know sharp pattern like an armor thing to it which is pretty sweet. I don't know how to describe it, but it just looks cool. And he has one fisted hand and one open hand to hold his spear. And his legs here have more of that awesome honeycomb purple. And I love how it's just, it's got like a shimmery shine to it. And then you get the silver scales here and it's just that kind of translucent plastic. I don't know how they do it. And it goes all the way around. Oh, the moon in you there. It, the, the cape is really strong. That cool paint and pattern goes all the way around, which is just great. And he has some pretty sweet looking knee pads. And the boots are primarily that translucent transparent silver there but just look at all the sculpting details they did a really great oh, the cape again uh, they really went all out on the sculpting I mean, whoever sculpted this just like good job man I, like want to find you and follow you on instagram I, wait is that stocky and he's got some pretty sweet kicks too Wish I could find myself some of these shoes. And here's the bottom of the feet, which is actually pretty clean because they put all the legal mumbo jumbo on the cape. But I do have a little chip right there, which is not too bad. Now for articulation. The head here is actually on a double ball joint, which gives them pretty good range of movement. It rotates 360, has decent up and down, pretty good side to side, and some really interesting pivoting. Body pivots that far back and that far forward and has a 360 waist swivel. Arm rotates 360 with included shoulder joint and bicep swivel. Only a single jointed elbow, but it does hide the joint when you fully extend it. And the hand rotates 360 and has a little bit of up and down, but it doesn't work quite that well. Legs go that far forward, not very far 
back though. And he has really good splits. Mattel's just really good at that. He's got the thigh swivels. He's got a double jointed knee, which is actually addictively smooth. It's just, oh, I love it. And the ankle goes that far back and that far forward and spins. And for accessories, he comes with this really awesome spear or, or trident, trident spear and something. It's got this sweet purple paint and it has this awesome fade going on at the top and the bottom and it just looks so cool. I love it. The sculpting on it's nice as well and it's actually not that soft and bendy. It's just soft enough but it holds its shape which is great. And that sweet sculpt continues all the way down the trident although they added some Lego mumbo jumbo here. I don't get why they did that. That's pretty, yeah. But at least you get some more of that cool purple fade at the bottom. I just, oh man, it reminds me of something. I just can't remember what, but it looks so cool. And that's what he looks like holding it. And he comes with this trench warrior collect and connect piece. I'm still just, I don't know. It just, ew. Just looks ugly just with the leg. I don't know if I'm going to build this, guys, but I'm probably going to get all of them. So um, I guess I might as well build them. Hey. Huh? Got a question for you. Uh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? What? Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> SpongeBob! SpongeBob SquarePants does! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman! <laughs> what just happened? All right, now for some comparisons. Here he is next to the Hero Vision Iron Spider, the Marvel Legends Infinity Thor, the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos, and the DC Multiverse Tax Suit Justice League Batflack. Well guys, this is one sweet Aquaman movie toy from Mattel. They did a great job on their Jurassic World toys and it looks like they brought the awesome here too. I can't wait to get my hands on some more Aquaman toys. And, oh, and Bumblebee movie toys too. Oh, and Drax and War Machine should be coming out soon. Man, I'm gonna be busy with some toy reviews. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, as always. And let me know what toys you're most looking forward to. Well, that's a wrap. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.